All right, so I have PlayStation 5 full technical presentation by Mark Cerny. Basically, these like all the information about the PS5 Pro. Let's go, to Let's go, man. Let's go. Hi, I'm Mark Cerny. I'm What's up, Mark? To be I haven't seen Mark in years, bro. It's crazy. To our console lineup, PlayStation 5 Pro, and how it advances gaming technology. But first, I want to take just a minute to look at what we put in the original PlayStation 5 and how it delivers an exceptional gaming experience. I'm gonna give like my full like take after, but let's just see like. You when know, PS5 what debuted in 2020, it brought a lot to the table. Eight Zen 2 CPU cores form the brains of PlayStation 5 and enable high-speed complex gameplay with character counts reaching into the hundreds and frame rates that can be as high as 120 frames a second. True. PS5 has a powerful RDNA 2 GPU, which can render anything from intricate details to fantastic worlds with vast panoramas to explore. Ray tracing allows for dramatic visual improvements, including reflections off of water or glass, and the realism mm, okay. that comes from real-time global illumination. A custom SSD can load data at breathtaking speed, resulting in ultra-fast transitions between game worlds and data streaming rates so high that traversal speeds are essentially unlimited. Hey, Spider-Man was such a good game. Tempest 3D Audio Tech brings an unparalleled sense of immersion to the sound of the games. With audio so real, you may not even need to see the enemies to know exactly where they are. Single player games are definitely better than multiplayer games though. Finally, the DualSense controller has haptics that let you feel through your hands what your character is experiencing inside of the game. It's wonderful to see such variety and richness of game experiences. Creators have made amazing use of the hardware capabilities, but when I talk to them, I do hear about their desire for more graphics performance. True. The dreams of yep. the developers are bigger than can be supported at 60 frames per second, and that leads to an aspect of modern gaming that we're all familiar with, graphics modes. Yep. It can be a difficult choice for players. Fidelity modes emphasize the visuals, typically through higher resolution rendering. Yep. These modes might also have enhanced detail or use more ray tracing. So this is more like the but graphics, basically. The games basically. only run at 30 frames per second. If you want better the graphics. The visuals can be choppier and the controls less responsive. Yep. Performance modes emphasize frame rate and interactivity, typically choosing to run... So fidelity mode, if you guys don't know, I'm going to break it down uh, more in uh, dumber terms because, you know, Mark Cerny is definitely more smarter than me. Fidelity is basically like if you want more of like the graphic side, like if you want the game to look, you know, absolutely amazing, uh, you, will, you will click on that mode. But if you, you know, want the game to run like really smooth, um, you would click on perform performance mode. A lot of things, and this is not even just PlayStation. I'm, I'm, I'm going I'm to unpause. Just give me one sec. Uh, a lot of things, uh, not even just PlayStation, but like a lot of like game consoles, a lot of phones, um, a lot of game options have the option to where you know it's either you want performance or you want graphics. Once like, and everybody's different, but I think most people would would rather choose performance. You know if that makes sense. See frames per second. I just have to clarify that, just in case you guys don't know. You Mainly know? by reducing the graphical detail until those frame rates can be achieved. When asked to decide on the mode, players are choosing performance about three quarters of the time. Yeah, a lot of people are Removing choosing that decision, yep. or at least narrowing that divide, is one of the key targets for PlayStation 5 Pro. We want to give players the graphics that the game creators aspire to at the high frame rates that players typically prefer. To do that, PS5 Pro substantially improves over PlayStation 5 in three ways. Well, we're we getting Here's the best of both worlds, really? The big three. Oh, the big First, three! We made the GPU much larger and increased the speed of the memory it uses. The result is rendering that's up to 45% faster. Second, we made major upgrades to the ray tracing, taking a streamlined and accelerated approach that allows calculation of the rays at double or even triple the speeds of PlayStation 5. And finally, we added custom hardware for machine learning and an AI library called PlayStation Spectral Super Resolution or PSSR for short. PSSR Wait. analyzes the game images pixel by pixel and can oh, add an extraordinary snap. amount of detail, which boosts the effective resolution. Wait, this actually games. might be like our most powerful game console though. are adding PS5 Pro support to new and existing titles. And with the big three involved, the results can be pretty amazing. With graphics showing something like fidelity levels of detail, but at double the frame rate. 
Wow. Here's The Last of Us Part 2 running on PS5 Pro. So you, you can actually it have like the best of like both of worlds, basically. targets a super smooth 60 frames per second. So on a PS Pro, sorry I'm pausing it, but I usually don't pause it, but like I got to pause it now because you know Mark's is talking. So basically uh, for the PS5 Pro, instead of like, uh, instead of you picking between graphics or performance, you can actually have both. That's crazy. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you. That's that. That's tight. I like that. Shot. That's tight, bro. Let's compare this. To that's the tight. I like that. that I, I like that a lot. Which is only running like at 30 frames per second, and is therefore much choppy. Wow. Okay, I like that a lot. That's cool. I like this that. This goal of delivering almost fidelity-like graphics at performance frame rates has been achieved for a broad set of titles, including Marvel's Spider-Man 2. And Ratchet and Clank rift apart. Man, look at Ratchet and Clank, man. You can see that Clank, PS5 man. Pro is close to doubling the power. Oh wow, I could, I, I can actually see the difference. I can actually see the difference right there. Another way to compare the two consoles is to look at PS5 Pro versus performance mode on PS5, both of which target 60 frames per second. Yeah. What we see here is a difference in detail. PS5 Pro oh, is yeah. much sharper and crisper than PS5. Yeah, I can actually see it. You can see it like this, the in like the bushes and stuff. Parade scene from Ratchet and Clank. Distant details are much clearer. And here we can see Marvel's Spider-Man 2 is noticeably higher resolution Ooh, throughout the, the scene, including the trees and procedural cars. Bro, I can actually see the difference. That's crazy. Okay. So overall, some remarkable improvement to the games. On PS5 Pro, we can see increased sharpness to the graphics or smoother and more responsive gameplay. This is the big three. Wow. Show. As okay, you've been that... seeing, machine learning via the PSSR library is being used quite broadly to add pixel detail and boost frame rate. But there are as many approaches as there are game engines. The increase in raw GPU power is being especially effective for Horizon Forbidden West. Apart from the detail boost, that extra graphics power is allowing for improvements to lighting and visual effects. You know what I'll say about Horizon well Dawn? This game does look really good, bro. In cinematics. It looks really good. Open up, guys. Dwarf's orders. Good enough for me. Ray tracing is finding broad usage as well, particularly when the games are focused on higher frame rates. The faster hardware in PS5 Pro can make a real difference. Allowing Gran Turismo 7 to add ray traced reflections between the cars in gameplay while continuing to support their targeted 60 frames per second. That Dang boost that. in ray tracing is also delivering big wins for Hogwarts Legacy. Allowing not only for better reflections and a greater variety of reflective surfaces, but also for further realism in the casting of shadows. Wait, okay, wait, wait. So, okay, so this whole... Wait a minute. Okay, I'm gonna unpause it. Give me one second. So basically, this whole like mode, the PS5 Pro has basically fidelity and performance all in one console. So you don't have to like, you know, choose between what you can have both of them. So if that's the case, I wonder if we can have like games like God of War in here. I'm guessing obviously the last, they show the last of us like a, a bunch of times. They show uh, Ratchet and Clank a bunch of times. So, you know, those games are definitely on the PS5 Pro. Um, hopefully we can have like God of War on the PS5 Pro. God of War, um, like bro, God of War Ragnarok with with the performance and the uh, fidelity mode together. Oh yeah, that'd be crazy. That'd be crazy. I'm gonna be honest with you. I hope you've enjoyed this run through. That's like some PC stuff. Like that'd be crazy. Pro. Simply put, it's the most powerful console we've ever built. Okay, I'm, we're okay, well, I was right. The PS5 family. Let me wrap this up by giving you a quick look at a number of games running on the new console. Oh, okay, 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 okay. All right, all right, all right. Hold You'll up. Never Oh, uh, they, they they playing music right now. Uh oh. So so yesterday, I already checked out the PS5 Pro like uh like I checked out my reaction of it. I guess Spider-Man 2. Oh, we got Final Fantasy on here. Yo, okay, nah, that'll be crazy. Horizon Zero Dawn. The Last of Us, obviously, we, we you know, we've seen that like this whole time. Yo, please show God of War. Wait, what game was that? What, what, was that Liza P? What game was that? We got Ratchet and Clank. Is this Alan Wake? Oh, Assassin's Creed Shadow. That's coming out later this year. God of War, God of War, Gran Turismo. Where's God of War? Oh, come on, bro. Please, please put God of War. Spider-Man 2. 
Oh, Hogwarts Legacy. Obviously, they showed it before. Come on, bro. Please, 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 please. So we go, we go, hey, we're going to talk about these prices too. <laughs> PlayStation. Oh man, listen. Um, if I'm being honest with you, this is this is definitely a W in my book. Now, it was a W until we got to the end. Yesterday, I uh, I made a video where I basically just sat down and I talked, or not even just talked, but I laughed as well, um, in, in talking about these prices because uh, we got the uh, the starting price of the PS5 Pro. At seven hundred dollars, six ninety nine, uh, at seven hundred dollars. Um, and, and so to be honest with you, and I think this is what, this is in euros, right? So, I'm guess. So what is that like nine hundred dollars? Is that like eight hundred nine hundred dollars and like, whatever like money that is? Listen, I'm gonna be completely honest with you, and and, and this is like, I, I listen. I'm, I'm a man of the people. I, I I'll always be real. First of all, I do like the way the PS5 Pro looks. Um, it's way more slimmer. Um, it has like the entire, it has like the stand and stuff like that. Um, I did hear that, th that the stand and the disc tray come sold separately. So you have to like buy that stuff. Um, but if I'm talking about the prices itself, um, that is a little bit too much. I, I will admit that yesterday, um, you know, I made a video and I was just laughing because like, as soon as, <laughs> as soon as I got done, like reacting to, um, you know, how the PS5 pro looked and stuff like that, bro. I went on Twitter, which is, you know, hell itself. I went on Twitter, bro, and so many people were like, brother, like, that's like, that's like rent, like, bro, that's rent money, bro. That's like groceries for like three months. Like, people were, bro, they were like in, in disarray. And to be honest with you, you know, I, I completely understand, you know, because, um, I mean, it's $700, you know. Um, I believe this is the most expensive, play yeah, yeah, I think this is the most expensive PlayStation console that we've ever got. Cause I think the PS5 was uh five hundred dollars. It was I think it was four ninety nine. PlayStation Four was uh I believe it was four ninety nine as well. Yeah, I, th I think it was four ninety nine as well, or maybe it was three ninety nine. I don't know. Uh, PlayStation Two that was like I think that was like four hundred, three hundred, four hundred dollars. PlayStation One actually was really expensive. That was like five hundred, six hundred dollars. That was really expensive. But other than that, I think this is definitely our most expensive console yet. Now, if I'm being honest with you, even though it is very expensive, and I'm not cutting that away, um, it is very expensive, especially like with the economy nowadays, bro. Inflation is crazy. You can't even buy like a bag of grapes without, you know, uh, without shooting your wallet. So I understand that. But if I'm being completely honest with you, though, I can try to see why they put this at seven hundred dollars. I can try to see, uh, but at the same time, you know, I'm a man of the people, and you know, we're looking at these prices like, brother, we're not getting this console until until like next march like it, it, i'm just being honest with you i'm not getting this console until like until that thing going sale like <laughs> listen until like black friday come through or something like that bro then maybe i could like take a peek at it and be like okay let, let me see if i can like get this for like some type of bro listen i'm being completely honest with you it, you see how this is 700 dollars. if this even takes if it if this either goes anywhere underneath 600 i'm taking it I'm, I'm being honest with you because once it goes underneath uh, 600 for like that little uh, short amount of time and it goes right back up to 600, 700, obviously, you know, some resellers are going to buy the game and like resell it for like uh, $1,800. It's crazy. So um, one thing I will say, though, um, the, the whole like thing toward, you know, like the whole big three thing, like the whole ray tracing, the CPU. Uh, and what was the last one? Uh, is, one second. I'm gonna be honest with you. I do like that though. Like the whole uh, oh AI uh, driven upscaling. Um, this is basically like a. It's like a. Um, here's what I'll say. Even though the prices are really high, I can definitely say that this is definitely like a. It, it's like a mini PC basically. It, like this, it's like a, it's like a PC inside of a console a little bit. That, 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 I think that's what it is a little bit. Because if I'm being honest with you. Even though it is seven hundred dollars, and like you know, a lot of people are not—they're not really gonna buy it, like you know, first week or whatever. Uh, I mean, you know, unless Sony, you know, bumps down the prices. Um, if I'm being completely honest with you, man, um, 
it does look powerful. It looks very powerful. Um, it's good that we don't have to, you know, worry about the whole performance thing or graphics anymore. We just have them both in one console. Um, and, and so I, I kind of like that. Um, but if I'm being honest with you, bro, seven six ninety nine is is absolutely diabolical. That's that's nasty work, diabolical. Um, and uh, bro, of course the prices are going down. Of course, I think after a week, Sony's gonna be like, okay, let let's see, you know, our sales for the week, whatever. And when they see that, you know, that that a small amount of people bought bought the actual console, because here's the thing, bro. Everybody, not everybody, but but most people already have ps5s like the new xbox so i don't think they're gonna like you know be like mm, you know what i need to get the ps5 pro no like we're all gonna we're all gonna get the ps5 pro but not right now bro like prior to like next year whenever the gta 6 drops then we'll be like okay cool then we're gonna get it but right now nah i don't think so i, I not definitely not right now but comment down below man what you guys think about this um other than that man i do like all the other like you know information we don't have to worry about graphic we don't have to worry about you know we don't have to worry about like picking graphics, but then like sacrificing performance or vice versa. Um, and, and now we have like both of those in one. Um, it is, oh, it's more, it's even more insane nasty work that we got to buy the disc tray and the stand so separately. That That's nasty work as, as, as well. So other than that, man, comment down below. What do you guys think about uh, all this? Anything, anywhere from the prices for the, you know, like if you guys are like are angry, I like the prices and if you wanted more. Um, I did want God of War in here, but I think they're going to put God of War in here. Um, other than that, man, again, comment down below what you guys think. See you guys next time out. And